Hey Dr. Rosenthal, I know that you're an expert on the seasons. My question is, what happens to people in the springtime? Um, more specifically, I'm interested to know what actually takes place in the brain that makes people happier in the springtime. Um, thank you. There are so many reactions to spring, but most people just love it when the world comes green and colorful with the grass and the trees and the flowers, when the leaves pop out of their buds and the days get longer and they're warmer and you're able to get outside and do all kinds of wonderful things. So at one level, spring is a great pageant, but at the same time, there are all kinds of changes going on in the brain itself. What has happened during the winter is that the cells in the brain that respond to light have been starved. Some of these cells use the chemical serotonin, which we know is a mood booster, and they've been sort of hungry for light, and they're kind of like a starving person in the desert. You know when your tongue gets all dry so that even a little bit of water is going to make you feel wonderful? Well, all of a sudden, as the days get longer, and around the spring equinox, that's when the rate of day length is increasing the most. As the days get longer, light pours into these cells via the eye, the cells that are so starving for light, and all of a sudden you get this ebullience and this exuberance and this feeling of being alive and passionate. You know Tennyson's famous quote that in spring a young man's fancy likely turns to thoughts of love and in my experience, that happens with women as well. Well, that is a kind of spring fever that a lot of people experience. Some people, for whatever reason, have difficulty with this rapid transition between the winter and the summer when the day is getting bigger and longer and brighter so quickly. They have a hard time transitioning and they can feel a sense of discord or uneasiness or even depression. But that's less common. If it happens, people should check it out. But for most of us, it's really a time of exuberance, of passion, of love, of enjoyment, of nature. And uh, that's how I hope it is for all of you.